Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for the end of your December going into January, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Uh, so we're going to take a look at your over energy regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice. So keep in mind, you could uh, switch the roles if you want, apply this to your own unique situation. Um, also just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. This is just a general reading. If this message doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Um, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, uh, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new uh, videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. And for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, Capricorn, let's get started. Um, overall energies for Capricorn. What is surrounding Capricorn regarding love and the person that they are connecting with? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the end of your December going into January. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for Capricorn here. Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Whoa. Seems like a situation where someone here is in their dream relationship or someone here is fantasizing or dreaming about their dream relationship here. Um, five of Wands and the Six of Cups. I feel like someone here wishes that things could be a certain way with their ex instead of ha being at odds or in conflict or fighting here. Yeah, so someone here is definitely fantasizing the end-all be-all here with an ex. Uh, because right now you're in this energy of being in conflict with this person. We have someone here that wants, a, a, you know, um, fulfillment, uh, emotional fulfillment, uh, stability, uh, commitment in a relationship. And I just feel like it's not happening because of the conflict. So Queen of Swords could be dealing with the Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You could have those energies in your chart. We have the Wheel of Fortune here on the bottom of the deck. I feel like it's destined to happen. If you're not destined to be with this person, you are destined to be in a relationship. But let's see what else is going on here. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. Tell me about this Ten of Cups here. Why is this Ten of Cups here? There's only one person that you want or one person that wants you. Um, the thing is, it, it, yeah, I just feel like you're tired of this not happening, Capricorn. Seven of Cups. You have the hangman here. Yeah, it seems like all someone could do is just fantasize, daydream, and dream about it. Five of Wands. I feel like what you really want is for this to really materialize. We have the Queen of Pentacles. There you are right here. It could be dealing with another Capricorn or Taurus or Virgo. You could have Taurus or Virgo in your chart. Six of Cups and the Knight of Cups. I feel like you're wishing someone here would come back with, you know, come back right, come back properly and offer you something, basically offer you a cup of love. And you want them to mean it. You want them to mean it. Uh, Queen of Swords. Eight of Swords. No, Ten of Swords here. I'm sorry, Ten of Swords. You know, I feel like you feel hurt by this and betrayed. Definitely someone here from your past that you're thinking about here and fantasizing about. Um, Ace of Swords. You wish someone here will tell you what they... I feel like you know that this person truly wants this, but for some reason they can't commit. 
Now, I don't know if, if it's because, you know, you have someone here dealing with someone here that keeps exploring other options. Yeah, I just feel like more so what, like, someone here is wondering when someone is going to approach someone correctly. And I feel like that's you. But like I said, you could switch the roles if you want. Maybe this is you. Um... Uh, uh, your uh, your person fantasizing this about you. Tell me about the person that Capricorn is dealing with. You. What are their true feelings and intentions towards Capricorn for uh, the end of December going into January? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for Capricorn. Capricorn's person here. Capricorn's person. Their true feelings and intentions towards Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the end of its end of December here going into January. What does Capricorn need to know about the person here? We have the Four of Swords and the Lovers. Gemini energy. I mean this person has definitely taken a break from this, from the conflict, but I feel like this person loves you. Yeah, I feel like this person loves you just as much as you love them. We have the Empress here and the Chariot. So Libra, Taurus energy with the Empress and Chariot, Cancer energy could be dealing with the Libra, Taurus, or um, Cancer. You have those energies in your chart. Ten of Wands and the Two of Swords. You know, I feel like this person is going through a time in their life where this person is carrying a lot of burdens. You know, both of you have really taken a step back here. Trying to move to calmer waters here for yourself. King of Swords. King to, king to Queen of Swords. This is a true pair. Um, we have a king here that's looking for a second chance here with you too. Seems like both of you are fantasizing about this relationship coming back together. Yeah. I feel like this is the gift that you're looking for, for Christmas, I feel. Four swords. Four swords. Look at that. Four of wands here two times. Both of you guys are fantasizing about this, dreaming about this. Lovers, the world. Seems like both of you guys have been able, unable to move on from each other. The Empress. Judgment. Seems like both of you guys are wanting reconciliation. Both of you guys are wanting growth and expansion and change here. You guys definitely want to do this in a different way. The way that you're dreaming about it, fantasizing about it here. The Chariot, the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be dealing with the Sag here with Judgment. Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands, yeah. So we have, a, I feel like we have a masculine here that's trying to move on from their pain, move on from their suffering here. Maybe their suffering was... Um, you know, hindering the growth and evolution of this uh, relationship. Maybe this person felt like they were not good enough and that's why they were seeking other options here. Um, two of Swords. We have the Six of Wands here. I feel like with the Two of Swords, someone here is seeing clearly that, seeing clearly where success lies here. And I feel like this King is feeling like success lies with you. The Seven of Wands here, someone here is really willing to fight for the Queen now or their Empress. Seems like I, I, I've been pre recording these and it seems like it's going all these. The majority of, from what I remember, the majority of the reads are that there's a re, these reunions here and it has something to do with the re, Venus retrograde. So, whatever you guys you know, that has gone through these separations. I mean, there is this, these intense emotions that are coming up. So let's see, outcome and advice here for Capricorn regarding their love situation for the end of December going into January, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs here for uh, Capricorn. Outcome and advice here for Capricorn regarding their love situation 
for the end of December going into January. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Ace of Swords and the Three of Wands. I feel like you guys might have the meeting of the minds and talk about this and basically lay everything out on the table and maybe make some plans here on how to go about bringing this back together and making this successful again. Justice in the Four of Cups. Yeah, there's this energy of definitely trying to make things right here, taking that opportunity. Both of you taking the opportunities to make things right here, Capricorn. We have Justice here, Libra energy. Uh, could be dealing with a Libra here, like I said. I think I mentioned that a few times. You might have Libra on your chart. You might have the Six of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Yeah, look, we have reconciliation here. We have reconciliation and healing and moving forward. And basically using the knowledge that you gain from that time while you guys are apart and applying that knowledge so that you guys could be successful in that relationship, basically learning your lessons here. Not just for one person, but for the both of you guys. Um, let's see. This is looking really good, Captain. But I'm going to clarify just to make sure. So far, looking really good. Okay. Ace of Swords. Why is this Ace of Swords here? What about this Ace of Swords? Why is this Ace of Swords here? Cool. Yeah. Look at that. There's, you guys are definitely starting over from this. We have the Ten of Swords here two times. Three of Wands. Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely going to be, you guys are definitely moving forward here. You got, to, uh, so I feel like, you know, I do feel like the momentum might pick up here very quickly. You might, you guys might just pick up where you left off, but let's just pump the brakes and just slow things down. Yeah, you definitely want to make sure that both of you guys are keeping your promises here um, moving forward on how to, you know, make this successful this time. Justice, Five of Swords. There's this energy of putting your weapons down and not fighting here and really listening to each other. Yeah, I mean, we have these fives here. So I feel like you guys are definitely, you know, not going to put blame on each other, not going to bring things up, but, you know, definitely bring this, things up to resolve, but not bring things up to hurt each other. Hangman, Piscean energy. We have the hangman here showing up. Seems like there's this energy of feeling wiser from your person, even both of you guys, Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles in the Chariot. Yeah, there's this energy of definitely moving forward here, definitely moving forward, Five of Wands. Whoa, this is coming back together, Capricorn. This is coming back together. The Moon, Cancer, Pisces energy. Seems like someone here has been manifesting this in their dreams here. Both of you could have been doing that. So Capricorn, this looks good. So um, Capricorn, if this resonated, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Bye, guys.